Hi guys and welcome to today's video. So today is a big day of filming because I've got two videos that I wanted to film and one of them, which is the one that you're seeing now, is the old wife's tale gender prediction of the baby thing. And we're finding out, so today is Friday and we're finding out the gender of our baby on Tuesday. So I kind of need to film that before I actually know the gender. So here we go. I'm actually, I think, going to film back to back if my battery is okay with that. With my like first trimester pregnancy video because I'm actually 22, 21 or 22 weeks today. So yeah, the first trimester video is a bit overdue, but that's not what we're doing today. Today we're doing the old wife's gender prediction baby thing. So the first test that is supposed to predict your baby's gender, the baby's sex, is the Chinese gender prediction calendar, which basically takes into account the month of conception, which was February for us. Hello. Good morning and also the age of the mother. So February and I was 27, I still am 27, uh, means apparently that we are going to be having a boy. Oh my God, 26 is girl and 28 is girl. I'm literally like the only boy square. So that's a tick for boy. Then there's another method uh, to predict the gender that is apparently 95% accurate, but I can't do that because, so it's the Ramsey method and it's basically based on where the placenta is attached. Like if it's on your left, what does it say? If it's on your left, it's a girl. And if it's on your right, it's a boy. But I don't have an early ultrasound that shows my placenta. So we don't know that. Uh, I do know that baby was born from my left ovary. So here's that. But I don't think it counts. So we're going to skip this one. Then there's the skin prediction. Apparently you're supposed to have a drier skin if you're carrying a boy and oilier, oil, oil, oily skin more than usual if you're carrying a girl. Now I have dry skin. That's not, I don't know if it's linked to the baby's sex because I've always had drier skin, like on my hands and legs and stuff. Uh, the only part of my skin that is oily is my face. So I'm going to count that as a boy. The glow is the next sex prediction. So if everyone is complimenting you on your gorgeous pregnancy glow, you're having a boy. If no one is saying anything and you're not really glowing, it's a girl. I'm going to definitely count that as a girl because I don't feel particularly like glowy. My skin is terrible. My hair is terrible. So I'm going to go with girl on this one. The next one is acne and like breakouts and stuff, which is kind of linked to the previous one. Because apparently if you're carrying a girl, she is stealing your beauty uh, from the inside, however that works. So you're going to be like breaking out and having oily skin and stuff. And if your skin is beautiful and you're not breaking out as much and stuff, that's a boy. So I'm going to say that I'm having a... <laughs> I don't know. Because I don't think that it changed that much since pregnancy so i might actually skip that one the next one is the linea nigra which is the black line that you get on your tummy if it goes above the belly button like from your pubis area to above your belly button you're carrying a boy and if it's lower than your belly button you're carrying a girl I don't have linear nigra. It's not mandatory. Some women never get it. Some women get it very, very late in pregnancy. I don't have it. So we don't know. Then we have hair grow. If your hair is like thicker and glossy and you look like a mermaid and whatever, you're going to be having a boy. My hair is terrible. My hair is falling out even during pregnancy. So I don't want to think about what it's going to be after. But yeah, my hair is terrible. So that's definitely a point for girl. 
Then you've got body hair. If it's growing thicker and faster than usual, you're having a boy. If it's normal, you're having a girl. I think my body hair is growing like as usual. So I'm gonna go for girl. Now the weight gain thing. It's say that if all of your weight gain is like on your stomach and on front, you're carrying a boy. And if you're like piling up pounds all over, you're carrying a girl. I am a bit of a mix because I don't think I've gained like in my face that much. Maybe a little. Hmm. Actually, that one is tricky because it's definitely not only in my stomach. It's It started with like butt and thighs as usual and now it's getting to my stomach but I'm gonna say all over so girl now the baby's heart rate was the one that I've heard about before and I'm really excited because my baby's heart rate heart rate anyway um, the way the heart is beating has always been faster than 150 and the thing is well, it's supposed to be if you're if you're having a girl, it's going to stay above 140, which is our case. So point for girl. So far, girl is winning. Yay. I mean, yay. We'll be happy with any sex of the baby. Uh, as long as baby is healthy and the pregnancy is going well, that's all that matters. But I mean, we kind of have a preference for girl. So anyway. The next step is feet. If you're suffering from, from, yeah, if you're suffering from cold feet or colder than usual, you're expecting a boy. It's a heat wave here in France. I don't think my feet are cold, but I don't know if you can count that because everything is warm. But I'm still gonna count it because I don't have cold feet. Foot growth is the next thing. You're supposed to grow in size in like shoe size if you're having a boy. I still can't, can put on my shoes. My feet are not swollen or anything. So that's gonna be a point for girl. And then the cravings, salty versus sweet. If you're craving sweet food, you're having a girl. Salty food, you're having a boy. It depends for me. I think that my most consistent craving is dairy, like cheese, milk, yogurt, anything made from dairy. So I don't know if that's salty or sweet. It's not sweet as in it has sugar in it, but it has natural sugar. It has natural, it, it has salt. Cheese is salty, right? I'm gonna put that as salt. So boy, then there's a test that you're supposed to do with a wedding ring. I'm not married, so I don't have that. The test of how high you're carrying your belly. I'm going to say that I'm carrying quite low. So that is going to be a point for... Oh, no, not girls. Girls are supposed to be higher. Boys are lower. So that's a point for boy. Then the sickness during the first trimester. Uh, if you're sick, and nauseous and vomiting, it's a girl. And that's definitely my case, 100% so sick during this first trim trimester and the vomiting actually carried on in the second trimester the nausea not so much i think i was fine with the nausea by week like 11 maybe 11 or 12 but week 16 i was still vomiting so that's fun not really then there's the dad's weight gain mark hasn't gained anything Sympathy pregnancy or whatever it's called is absolutely not a thing for him. And apparently if daddy's gaining weight, it's a girl. If he's not moving like in weight, it's a boy. So definitely point for boy. If you're having extreme headache, you're carrying a boy. If you don't have headaches, you're carrying a girl. I don't really get headaches usually. And I don't think I remember having a headache during this pregnancy. So that's going to be a point for girl. Now this one is one that I'm going to skip because it's the side where you're falling asleep and I sleep on my stomach. So changing that is being really difficult for me. 
I've got pregnancy pillow. Pillow? Pillow. What was that? Uh, I've got a pregnancy pillow to help me fall asleep. And I usually try to lay on the left side because, well, that way the pillow is in the middle of the bed and it's not going to fall out. And also I've heard that it's the best side to sleep on. But naturally I sleep on my stomach. So, so yeah, I'm going to skip this one. Now, if your areola on your nipple uh, darkened, is like darker than usual and bigger than usual, you're carrying a boy. Mine hasn't really changed. It has a bit more bumps, if you have to know. But th it's the same color, basically. So that's going to be a point for girl. My clumsiness is the next step. <laughs> Apparently, if you're clumsier than usual, you're carrying a boy. I am extremely clumsy in real life, like in general. But I don't think I'm clumsier this pregnancy. In fact, I think I'm a bit more careful, so I'm less clumsy. So I'm gonna say less clumsy, that's girl. Uh, then there's the size of your boobs. Like if your left boob is bigger than your right boob or whatever, I don't see a difference in my boob. So I'm gonna skip that one. Uh, are your nails growing stronger and faster? Now, I don't think we can count this one because I was working with like milk and stuff and having your hands all day in Hui is known to increase like the strength of your nails and how fast they grow. So that's, I think, that's the case for me. That's like why since I've stopped working, my nails are a bit like grow, are growing a bit slower. So I'm gonna say that we skip this one because it's work related for me. Now, the next step is heartburn. I don't think heartburn is the same as acid reflux because I've definitely get acid reflux, like recently it's, it, it's bad, but I don't get heartburn if they're different. So I'm gonna say that no heartburn, so that means a boy, apparently. Then there's the garlic test. You're supposed to eat a lot of garlic and then you don't smell like it. Like for two, two or three weeks, the only thing that I wanted to eat was cream cheese with garlic in it, but like a crazy amount of garlic. And I wasn't smelling particularly of, gar of garlic because Mark hates it, so he would have told me. So I'm gonna say not smell like, gar like garlic, that means I'm carrying a girl. So far we're on six for boys and 12 for girl. Um, the next one, I think we're almost done, is moody versus mellow. If you're feeling more moody than usual, you're carrying a girl. If you're chilled as usual, you're carrying a boy. I have not really had mood swings and stuff. I've remained pretty normal. So I'm gonna go point for boy. We'll see. And then there's the Mayan calendar system thingy, which is looking at your age and the year of conception. So year was 2022 and I was 27. So one number is odd, one number is even. That means that I'm carrying a boy. The final result is, which means that we should be having a girl according to the gender wife, the, the old wife, what's it called? Old wives gender prediction test. Uh, of course, the sex of the baby is already decided. So we have no influence on that. Genetic is going to do its thing because I skipped a lot of those as well. I think it could go both ways. So. And anyway, these are not accurate. Uh, an ultrasound is what is accurate, but it's just a way to have fun. And I've always wanted to do this video when I see them and I'm like, oh, that's, that's fun. So we did that. That's it for today, guys. If you enjoy my pregnancy related video, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be making more of that. You can click here to watch another video of mine. Please do give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it because it does really help and it makes me happy. 
and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye!